Morning guys! <laughs> so, this is a little bit scary. <laughs> I don't normally look like this when I say hi in my videos. So we've got a cup of coffee. Uh, it's early and I woke up at, what time did I wake up? About 6am, so yeah, I'm looking pretty tired. So I've got, I've got my coffee, it is decaf, can't drink caffeine at the moment. And I thought I would film a get ready with me. So I have got my, uh, my pyjamas on. <laughs> so I've already prepped my skin. So what I use in the morning, I use a micellar water um, and I've just been using this moisturiser at the moment which is an e-spa one um, and that's the pro um, moisturiser so that makes your skin feel really really nice and then I also use every single day um, my vitamin C serum that I talk about loads so that's linked in my skincare video so I've done all that <clears throat> And now I'm going to put some stuff on my face so I don't look so tired and haggard. I'm going out today, I'm meeting my family. It was my dad's um, birthday recently. It was my mum's 60th recently. Um, it was Chris's birthday recently. And obviously we've got the news to celebrate as a family with the twins as well. So yeah, it's going to be hopefully a really nice day. We're going for Sunday lunch, so it probably will involve a few sins, but... Hey, it's all about balance. So the first thing I put on my face after I've um, moisturised is the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening Serum. So I talk about this all the time. It's an absolutely amazing product. And basically you just put a few pumps and it's got a light diffuser in it. And it's also got a slight hint of like a tan to it as well. So as you can see, I mean, look at the difference look at the difference already so you literally just rub it in it's a serum um and it smells absolutely beautiful it's got like a bit of um, a perfume smell um it is expensive but it lasts a long time and it is really really worth it so that just goes on underneath your foundation and it just gives you like a bit of a sheen. So really, really love that product. Um, I have got a cheaper version and the cheaper version is a Rimmel one and that's called Insta Flawless, um, but it's not, it's not as nice as this one. So once I put that on, next I use a primer. Um, I've got the Herda Beauty primer. I've got an Urban Decay primer. Um, I also use a CID primer, I've got um, an Estee Lauder one, a Benefit one, I've got loads and loads of different primers. Um, I do really like this one though and I've nearly run out. And it's Urban Decay Self Adjusting Complexion Primer. And this basically um, has got like a soft focus effect and it's also got shine control. So all the products I will link down below. Um, I do need to get some more of this. The only thing I'm not that keen on with this is it does make your face look a little bit white. So that's why it's nice to use the brightening serum underneath. So rub all that in. Now, again, I've got my Invisalign in, so you're going to have to bear with me when I'm talking um, because it is on my teeth <laughs> and it is quite difficult to talk. I end up sounding a bit like Hannibal Lecter or whatever his name is. So, that's the primer, okay? And uh, that just makes your foundation sit so much nicer and stops all the shine um, coming onto your face. So... Once I've done the primer, I'll then pick my foundation. And I wear double wear, I wear double wear light, I wear the Herda Beauty foundation, I've got the Hourglass foundation, I've got millions and millions of different foundations. Um, but just recently, I got back into the MAC one, and that's the Studio Fix. So I used to use that years ago, and then I went for a makeover again not long ago um, at MAC. And I just fell in love with this again. Um, I do like my Armani one, which I've talked about before, um, the Power Fabric one. Um, but I do find this one just gives you a bit of a, a lighter finish. It's got like a bit more of um, a brightened sort of sheen to it. So I do really like that. Um, sometimes I use a foundation brush. Sometimes I don't. Um, I'm not really precious when it comes to brushes. Um, I've got the Hair de Beauty one which is for her foundation. And then I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Foundation Brush. So I'm just gonna use the um, Herda Beauty one today. Sometimes I just use my fingers. So <laughs> I don't think you really need to um, 
obsess too much about which brush to use. So I tend to just put it on with my hands, first of all, with my fingers, and just dot it like round my face. Now obviously I'm doing this in a camera um, as opposed to a mirror, so occasionally I might just need to um, face the mirror <laughs> and check that this is okay. So I think what I'll do is just get a little small mirror out as well, just to make sure I'm putting this on right. So literally just buff that into the skin so make sure that you're going down your neck because nobody wants a different coloured face to their neck. That's never ever a good look. So I don't know if when you were younger and you were at school and you used to wear makeup and it was probably about 10 shades too dark <laughs> for your face and then you ended up having like an orange face and a white neck. Um, when I think of makeup when I was younger, I always think of like Rimmel, Heather Shimmer and Coffee Shimmer. So I bet you, I bet you some of you had those. Um, no eyebrows, I used to pluck them within an inch of your life. Um, I used to always steal my older sister's makeup. So I used to go to school when I was young with like bright red lips um, and always get it confiscated by the headmistress. So yeah, that was interesting. So once you've buffed all of that in, so just make sure you've got no, no little creases, no lines. Obviously, a lot of makeup um, YouTubers are like probably half my age. So this is more of a makeup tutorial for somebody that's in their 30s. Um, <laughs> I'm actually more late 30s now. <laughs> and I will, I will talk about um, skincare and stuff like that as well because I am always honest and um, I have had Botox in the past so now I'm pregnant um, I can't have Botox <laughs> so um, I, I'm quite lucky anyway um, my mum looks really young for her age so I'm hoping that I'm going to uh, follow in her footsteps and that I've got good genes um, I don't use like um, fillers or anything like that I've never had any fillers in my lips some people think I have never no don't don't do fillers um, but I have had Botox so Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but I can't do that at the moment because I'm obviously pregnant so I haven't had it for probably about six months now. Um, so yeah, this is just my normal face. Um, and it's not too bad. I can see the difference kind of like around my eyes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I won't, be, I won't be having it for a while. So you just have to get used to my normal face. <laughs> so this is, um, that's all been blended in now. So once you've put your foundation on, um, immediately you should start to look a little bit more human. Um, and then the next thing will be to apply your concealer. So I use all different concealers. Now again, because I'm a little bit older, um, I have to be careful with what concealer I use um, because sometimes it can get too cakey and you end up with like really bad creases under your eyes. So. I try and find quite a light concealer, um, so if I just go into my makeup bag, um, I've got loads and loads of different concealers, shock, I've got loads and loads of makeup full stock, and the one um, that I tend to reach for is either the MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer, the Collection 2000, which is really good. Um, I don't really get spots, so I haven't got to like, cover any blemishes or anything. Um, so I'm quite lucky, so I won't use that one today. Um, or the Clarins Instant Concealer. And this one is Smoothing, Long Lasting and Revives Tired Eyes. Um, my friend Gemma uses this, so she recommended this to me. And that's in the shade 01. So I use that quite a lot. And then I use, I use all different ones. I've used Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, they do a really nice concealer as well. So what I always make sure I do is spray my beauty blender uh, with water first. So just make sure that you're using a damp sponge and that's then going to eradicate any of your creases. Um, I do sometimes still get a little bit of creasing under my eye. So I don't know if anyone can recommend anything to stop that but I do use loads and loads of hydration under my eye so I do actually make sure 
that have got really, really good um, eye creams and stuff like that. So there isn't really a lot else I don't think that I can do. Um, it's just part of aging, isn't it? So I just have to accept that I'm going to get a few, few little creases. So once you've dotted the concealer in the places that you want to highlight, then just go in with your beauty blender and just make sure that you set that product and sort of pat it so don't smudge it just pat it into shape into shape <laughs> don't know what i meant by that so into place i think i meant so highlight all the areas that you want to look like the natural light is hitting your face so blend that in there it's all the snow gone now where you are guys the snow seems to be melting quite nicely now so hopefully normality will resume i am not a fan of snow it's caused absolute chaos for some of our slimming world groups and it drives me mad so i'm not a snow fan right then so once that's all blended in the next thing that I do, so you can see that's lightened my eyes quite a lot already. Um, unfortunately, I am tired, so you can see that I've got quite um, quite bad bags. Um, but that's just real life, guys. That's only going to get worse when I have two twins. I'm going to come on here looking like death. I'm not having two twins, am I? I'm having two babies. I'm having twins, which are two babies. <laughs> I'm not having two sets of twins. So, the powder that I'm using at the moment, I've got different ones. I've got Laura Mercier, I've got MAC, I've got this one which was recommended, RCMA, no colour powder. I love all of them, but my favourite at the moment is this Coty, and it's Airspun Loose Face Powder. And this has been all over um, Instagram, all over beauty bloggers, um, YouTube videos and stuff like that. It's really, 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 really popular, and it just smells gorgeous. It's a translucent powder, but did you ever use to like um use your nan's makeup or smell like your nan's makeup i know that sounds really weird but when i used to go to the toilet at my nan's when i was little um my nan my nan was really glamorous when she was younger um she's absolutely beautiful she's irish and um yeah like she had loads of dark hair and striking face and she was really into her makeup and um she used to have the max factor powder do you remember the max factor like foundation powder and it just used to smell like so good and this this reminds me of that it reminds me of her so the brushes that i tend to use the most are these brushes and they're by spectrum so this is the spectrum zero one um powder brush and i just put the powder into the lid and i just dust that all over my face so some people um bake but for me, baking is not a good idea. It's more for the youngsters. Um, <laughs> that makes me sound so old. But if you bake and you've got creases and you've got more mature skin, it's only going to make it look worse. So I just put powder all over just to set that foundation in place. And this really does help to keep like a really flawless base all day so i'm really uh, really really impressed with it um i'm not sure i'll go back to laura mercier now and this was cheaper so i'm well happy with that so once i've done that i just will double check that there are no creases under my eye so i'll just quickly go back in with the beauty blender and just make sure that none of that has gone into the creases which it actually hasn't so that's really good um now the next thing that i do <clears throat> if i'm taking more time with my makeup i will contour separately so i'll bronze my face and then i will contour separately and um, i'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee so just bear with me do you like my uh, marble mug it's nice isn't it I'll get told off now for drinking coffee with Invisalign in. My friend Sophie will watch this and tell me off. So, <laughs> I won't do it again, So, So, sometimes I'll bronze my face if I'm going out. And then I'll go in 
and I'll contour um, separately. I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. But if I'm just um, doing day-to-day -day makeup, I can't be bothered to do that every day. So what I do, I get my Charlotte Tilbury um, magic brush. So this is like a contouring brush. And I get this Urban Decay. Now, this Urban Decay is actually a foundation. So it's called Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in Dark Warm. But this is the most amazing bronzing powder. So although it's classed as a foundation, you can use it as a bronzer. And because it's so fine, because it's designed originally to be a foundation, it just blends in so, so well. So I literally just go around the top of my forehead first so this just helps to warm up your face now i've got quite a big head <laughs> not as in i'm big headed as in i physically have a big head so what i have to do is just try and give it the illusion that it's smaller than it really is and i do that using this product so you can use any bronzer. Um, I also use Benefit Hula Bronzer. Um, that's really good. And one of my absolute favourites, which I've run out, run out of at the moment, is uh, Mac Give Me Sun. And Mac Give Me Sun literally does what it says. It it makes you look like you've been away on holiday. Um, but so does this one. I absolutely love this. But I have heard they're going to discontinue it. So not happy about that so once you've done the top then you need to try and contour away any double chin so literally just go under your jawline and just strengthen the look and the illusion of your jawline okay so again you don't want a different colored neck so just bring that down onto your neck as well that vitamin C serum that I use is really, really, really helping. So luckily, I'm not getting loads and loads of lines on my neck. Um, there's a patch, which isn't great. Um, but everybody's got to get older. It's a fact of life, guys, isn't it? Nobody stays young forever. So let's just keep contouring around the chin area. Now I'm going to be putting weight on for obvious reasons. I'm probably going to need to do this even more. Um, I always put weight on on my face. Whenever I put weight on, I put it on around my thighs, around my bum, around my stomach, and always on my face. Like when I was um, at my biggest, my face was so round. Um, somebody used to call me um, Moonhead, which was lovely. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So I've always had quite a big round face. And then when I was at my absolute slimmest, um, my face did go really slim and I looked so different, really, really different. So once you've contoured all around the sort of sides of your face, the next thing I quickly do then is just give myself a bit of a cheekbone. So you're gonna have to do the face now. Now, you probably all know what I mean. You're gonna have to suck your cheeks in. So do your fish face. And then just put a line. I can't talk and do a fish face at the same time. <laughs> it's impossible. So just really blend a nice line to give you that contour effect. Okay, and like I said, I've got all the different contour products. I've got cream ones, I've got powder ones, but I prefer to do it like this when I'm in a rush because it's just quick. <laughs> so attractive. Okay, so I'm going to blend all this in a little bit more in a minute. So it might still look quite dark on camera at the moment. Um, it is going to be quite difficult to pick up the makeup really well on camera. But what I'll do, I'll take a photo after as well okay so that's just warmed up 
the face and giving you a little bit of a contour. The next thing I do is I put my blusher on. So I use the Spectrum A05 brush and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kit. Um, what I absolutely love about this is it's got four different colours and I really like them all. So I struggle to, um, to pick one on a, a daily basis. <laughs> so what should we go for today? Um, I'm going to do probably a bit of a pinky orangey um, eye. So I'm going to go for this one on the top left and that one is called Coastline. So let's go for Coastline. So get the product and just dab it and then you want to put it on the apple of your cheek. Oh, it's such a nice colour. Now it's quite a strong colour, so what I'm going to do now is just blend that off a little bit with the a powder brush. We don't want to look like Aunt Sally. There we go. So next thing is to put our highlighter on. Um, I am just going to quickly put a little bit of the bronzer on my nose as well. Um, I'm really paranoid about my nose and I probably shouldn't tell you that because now you're going to look at all my photos and look at my nose. <laughs> but years and years and years ago, um, my nose got broke. So I've got like a little bit of a, a, like a bump on my nose and I'm really self-conscious about the size of my nose. I think it's really big. Um, so what I do, I just quickly put a little bit of eyeshadow is what I tend to use and I'll talk about the eyeshadow in a minute but I just put a little bit down the sides of my nose and this just helps to give the illusion of a slimmer nose so I do need to blend that in a little bit so I just get the beauty blender again and just blend that in I've got some new products coming that hopefully are going to help me um, sleep better. Um, since I've been on steroids for IVF, um, my sleep is absolutely horrific. So that's why I look so bloody tired. So you have to bear with me on that. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got lush sleepy stuff and I've, I've got all of that sort of thing. Um, but this is a new product designed specifically for pregnant women. Um, so I'm really, really excited to try those and see if that helps my sleep. Um, so highlighters. Um, I'm obsessed with these two at the moment. We've got MAC Soft and Gentle and we've got Mary Lou um, the Luminizer. So I'm going to use this one today because at the moment I'm really, really into this one. Um, I also have a cheaper one that I can recommend to you. Um, Sleep do a contour kit and inside the contour kit they've got an absolutely gorgeous highlighter so you can always try that. Now the brush that I use, um, it's a Daniel Sandler contour powder um, brush which I got online which is a really really nice brush for highlighter. So again you're going to have to do the sucky face thing so let's get that going now this is quite a gold highlighter but i love it so that just goes on the apple of your cheek look at that glow check out my glow that'll make me look a bit more human so, on the apples of your cheek, that's where you want to put the highlighter. I just put it a little bit higher up there as well. And then, the next place I put it is on the end of my nose. So again, that helps with the illusion of a slimmer nose and draws the attention to the thinner part of your nose. So, just on the tip and down the middle. <laughs> Okay, so that's that bit. Then the next thing I do is my eyeshadow. Now, for eyeshadow, um, I tend to put a lighter colour um, on the base of my lid. And because I'm not organised, 
and I haven't got everything ready. I'm just struggling to find it. So I use any white eyeshadow, it doesn't matter, as long as it's um, white, I don't care. I've got a number seven one here um, in uh, matte Calico, and, and then I've just got a cheapy 17 one here in Ivory. So it doesn't really matter, as long as it's white, then it's all good. So, I get that and I use another spectrum brush and this spectrum brush is a number six. Check me out with my brushes and my numbers sounding like a real makeup YouTuber. Okay, so I literally just dust that over the lid and then I'm going to go in with another colour. So that just gives you a base and just lightens up your eyes a little bit. Now, little tip, get a highlighter and put that in the corner of your eye. Um, this is just going to really open up your eye and make it look a lot brighter. So I'm going to use the MAC Soft and Gentle one. So just dust that off and just pop that in the corner of your eye. Now it's quite nice to put a little bit on your brow bone as well. So that's that bit. Then I just get another spectrum brush. Um, this spectrum brush is um, number B06 and I'm going to use my Herda Beauty palette. Um, this palette is absolutely stunning. Um, this is the Rose Gold Edition palette and I do use this a lot. I absolutely love it. Um, I also love this Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow as well. So if I'm going to go for more pinky orange in colours, I use the um, Herda Beauty one. If I want more of a brown, I use Charlotte Tilbury. So the colour I'm going to use today is called Shy. Um, it's this one here and shy is like a nudey sort of blush pink and it's just beautiful so literally just dust that in to your socket so this just goes in the crease the socket of your eye and then just blend that in so this brush is absolutely brilliant for eyeshadow i love it now obviously because i'm not going out out this isn't a nighttime tutorial this is a day i'm not going to go too mad with loads of eyeshadow but i just really really love the colors and it's just so easy to use it blends like a dream you don't get much fallout it doesn't end up going like all over your face it's just a really really nice color I love it, absolutely love it. I use this one all the time. Okay, so just make sure I've got none that have dropped underneath my eye. So next thing I do is um, normally I just pop a little bit of um, eyeliner. So I just use any eyeliner, I'm not really fussy. Um, the only thing I don't like is I don't really like a pencil. I prefer um, eyeliners that are like sticks like this that you can just twizzle up and use. So this one I think was a Maybelline one. So I just do the lower lash line. Sometimes I do the upper lash line as well, so you could do that if you wanted to. That'll probably freak loads of people out and they'll probably be watching the video through their hands. <laughs> so winged eyeliner I used to do every day, um, but I can't be bothered now. It's just too much effort. So I don't do wing eyeliner every day. I used to, literally, I was known for my flick, but no, I don't do it anymore. I've changed. What's that about? I wonder why. Now, eyebrows. Let's talk eyebrows. I was not blessed in the eyebrow department. All these girls with these beautiful, big, bushy eyebrows that are now in fashion. No, I had none. I overplucked them when I was young because I had an older sister and I used to steal all her stuff and I did the cardinal sin of plucking it from the top, which you're never meant to do. So, I have microbladed eyebrows. And again, the joys of pregnancy. You can't have them while you're pregnant. So now I have no eyebrows again. So I have a very, very faint microbladed brow, but really there's there's nothing left. 
so I am absolutely desperate to get them done again but at the moment I have to make do with these so I do two different things to my eyebrows um, when I've got more patience I will use a pencil so I'm just trying to find that now I use this one which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and it's a fantastic product it's got your little brushy thing on the end um, and then it's got quite a thin pencil there um, but when I'm in more of a rush or I just can't be bothered um, I'll fill my eyebrow in with eyeshadow so um, Benefit do a product which is also good called Brow Wiz I've got, I've got that as well um, but today I'm just going to do it with eyeshadow so this is the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette and this is the Sophisticat one so I'm using the colour so one two either pop or smoke I'm not sure which one it is I think it's pop um so I'm going to use this brush which is from Brow Jam Brow Jam is another really really good eyebrow product but today I just want to do it quickly so I'm going to use the eyeshadow and then what I do is I'll just follow the little bit of eyebrow I've got left um, I like to have a longer tail on my brow so I draw that down and then I just go in and fill in the rest so once you've put like all your foundation and your powder and that on you can be left with like no eyebrows and then you just feel like you look like a potato or an egg just like an egghead <laughs> Nobody wants to look like an egghead, do they? So, it's a quite a dark colour, but I like a dark brow. I don't like, although I'm blonde, I don't like a lighter brow. So, just make sure there's no smudge. So straight away, look at the difference. It's ridiculous actually it's quite dark on camera it's, it's not that dark don't panic let me go into the light let's do the other one and then i can show you it doesn't look too dark so let's just get that filled in so yeah after i have these babies i'm going to be straight in to get my eyebrows done i'll be on a mission i'll be on a mission to be the best mum i can possibly be and then I'm also on a mission to get back to looking like me again. I could be a MILF, couldn't I? God. Never thought I would be talking about myself having babies and being a mum. This is crazy. I bet you I won't have time to put this on my face with twins, will I, guys? That'll be interesting. I might have to get semi-permanent makeup put all over my face so I can just wake up and have makeup on. Twin mums, if you're watching, do you, uh, do you get time to put makeup on? <laughs> I can't go out with no makeup on, I'll scare everyone. So get your little brushy thing. Don't know what the technical uh, term is for that. And just blend it all out a little bit. I think that looks okay. Let's just make sure it's even. With this, with the ring light, it's um, quite difficult to see that it's definitely the colour that you want. I think that's all right. Okay, so next thing I think I'm going to do now is my lips. Now, with lips, I've got a million different lip liners. Most of them are MAC, and most of them look the bloody same. Does anyone do that? Does anyone go into MAC and pick up a load of lipsticks, a load of lip liner? I think, actually, that looks like the one I've already got. Um, I've got loads of lipsticks that I use. Um, I do like nude-coloured lipsticks. So um, I tend to use either the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk or Penelope Pink. So they're really, really nice nudes. I've also got the Kate Moss one in 03, which is a Rimmel one, which is also a gorgeous nude. And then I'm really, really loving um, this one at the moment, which is a Nicki Minaj one in Nicki's nude. Um, my name's Nicki, and that just sounds like I said I was nude. <laughs> 
not nude. The, the MAC lipstick is called Nikki's Nude. So I just pick whichever eye li uh, lip liner I get first. Um, so I've got Oak, I've got, which are the ones, Spice, and I've got Boldly Bare. So I've got loads of different um, MAC ones. I've got way more than that as well. Um, but I'm going to use Boldly Bare today. So with your lips, you just want to go in and just make sure that you go slightly over your own lip line. I think this is why people think or have asked if I get my lips done, but it's just using a good lip liner. I don't know where I get my lips from because my mum has got really thin lips. Uh, and I think, yeah, my dad has as well. I don't know where I get my lips from. I know where I get my nose from, from my granddad's side. The Kellys and the Bennets, I think, is where I get my nose from. Okay, so, just to make sure that line is okay. So that's called Boldly Bear. Uh, it's just a really, really nice pinky, drop my mirror, pinky colour. So next we go in with the lipstick and this is the Nicki Minaj one. I normally go for a matte lipstick but this has actually got quite a nice shine. I just love it. really really nice love that one so that's the mac one now let's put those ones away okay so on to eyelashes another thing i can't do now i'm pregnant is use my precious lilash so lilash is not tested on pregnant ladies so you're not allowed to use it while pregnant which is an absolute nightmare because my eyelashes were like spiders they were the longest eyelashes i think i've ever had and i absolutely was obsessed with them so i can't use that <clears throat> at the moment so my eyelashes aren't as long as they used to be everyone used to ask me if i've got false eyelashes um go and have a look at my eyelash video because you can go and have amazing eyelashes while i can't so that's annoying and um, what i'm doing instead is I'm treating my eyelashes with coconut oil at the moment. So every night I'm using um, my cousin's um, company called Cocozo and she makes um, organic coconut oil, which is designed really to use on babies. Um, so you can use it on eczema, you can use it on your own skin if you want. Um, but I've been putting it also on my eyelashes. It's good for taking off makeup. It's just the most amazing product. Um, they're on Dragon's Den and you can um, buy it in boots and stuff as well. But I've been using it on my eyelashes and it is helping. Um, but yeah, it's just not, they're just not as long as they were, so that's really annoying. Now, I'm going to tell you something that I do now that you're probably going to think is really, really gross. But I've done it ever since I was little and I don't know why. But I can't get the perfect eyelash unless I do this. <laughs> you're probably going to think that's disgusting. I can't believe I've just told you that I've done that. But I wet the eyelash and it just makes it curl so much easier. Um, and it makes them separate easier. So yeah, it, it probably is absolutely disgusting that I've just admitted that I do that. But I've done it ever since I was little. Never had a problem with my eyes. So no comments about infections. I'm all good. I'm all good. So curl your eyelashes with your eyelash curlers. And then you have to use this. This is Benefit Roller Lash and it is one of the best mascaras on the planet and trust me, I have used absolutely every mascara you can possibly imagine. And this one is unbelievable. Now, when I was using Lilash, my eyelashes were, as I said, longer than they are now. So I do have to put a few more layers on than what I used to. But it's all good. Um, the thing I like about this brush is it's quite a hard brush and it gives length, volume, but it also separates your eyelashes. So it's 
honestly one of the best best mascaras i've ever ever used so bottom lash line get it on there and then i'll just wait for that to dry and then I'll go in and put another coat on. So I'll just give that a few seconds. So straight away, obviously they look a lot longer than the other side. <laughs> curl it. Lick it, curl it, put your mascara on. You heard it here. I bet you there's loads of people that do that that don't admit it or don't put it in their videos. Apart from me, I'm just too honest. So, once you've clamped your eye and you feel like you're having an eye operation, get your mascara. On my tired eyes, if anyone wants to recommend anything, I would be grateful but I am using a really nice product at the moment by Tropic um, and it's, uh, there's a girl called Gemma on Instagram who's got a Tropic um, account and it's called Eye Refresh Cooling Gel Roll On with like cucumber in and that's really nice that is that is helping um, but if anyone else uses anything I've used loads of stuff um, nothing seems to really help puffy eyes apart from more sleep and actually i have noticed as well since being pregnant i'm more dehydrated and i'm really bad at drinking although i've got about 10,000 hydrate mates scattered around all over the place because i'm obsessed with them um i'm not very good at remembering to drink so i've got to get better with that and i think that will help my skin won't it so so i'm going in and putting another layer of my mascara on this eye and I always seem to end up with it on my bloody eyelid and it's really annoying I'll do videos and I'll close my eyes I'll be like oh great I've got it on my eyelid again it's because my eyelashes are quite long so it ends up going on my eyelid and if you don't pull funny faces when you're putting your mascara on then what kind of superhuman are you because it's practically impossible my nose is <laughs> my nose is a bit itchy sorry so i always like to make sure that the lashes on the outer corner get a lot of the mascara on and it can give you that more like feline look so this mascara is just unreal never just put one coat on i'm a two coat girl sometimes three don't wear false eyelashes they get on my nerves they annoy me when I'm wearing them and I find them really stressful to put on and I'm not a fan of eyelash extensions. I had them and they completely, completely destroyed my eyelashes, which is how I ended up finding lilash. So unless I really struggle for time once I've had these babies, I don't think I would ever have eyelashes again. Um, I like them on other people, they look beautiful, but they drove me insane. I wanted to wash my face properly, didn't feel like I could wash my face properly. Um, I just felt a bit weird as well, you know, like when you're at the gym and you've got these like massive eyelashes. I don't know, it just didn't suit me. I like to grow my own. So, once you've covered your eyelashes with the roller lash so good I don't know if you can see oh that's better it makes them look so long doesn't it i love it there we go Ta -da! my coffee's gonna be cold now 
That's how much I love you guys. Rather than drink my coffee, I've let it go cold. I think that's it. I think I've done my face. What do you reckon? I look a bit different to when I started, don't I? So that's everything I shove on my face to look a bit more human. Um, tend to do that on a daily basis. That's um, my kind of like makeup routine, if you like. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll link as many products as I can below. And um, I really hope you enjoyed watching my video. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, um, then if you could please give it a thumbs up. I was quite nervous about filming it. Um, didn't really want to do it, but lots of people requested it. So I thought, hey, why not? Push yourself out your comfort zone. Do something that scares you a little bit. <laughs> and actually, it's been quite fun. It'll be quite a long video, um, but hopefully you stuck with me till the end. And now you can click subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy popping.